Hello friends, I thought it would be fun to hop on and show you another haul video from the most recent package that I got from scrapbook.com. And you're definitely gonna wanna check in with this one if you are a Halloween lover because it is jam packed with fun Halloween and fall products. The first product I wanted to show you is that scrapbook.com does now have envelopes that you can use zippered envelopes to hold any of your crafty goodies these are absolutely wonderful when it comes to transporting your items if you're going crafting for the day or if you're working on a specific project and you want to keep all of your items together in one envelope there's this nice large size that they're going to come on uh, come in they are about 13 and a half by about nine and a half. And this is gonna be really nice. You can even probably fit a full size letter sheet of paper inside of these. And these will get be really nice for durability. Now there is also a smaller size and these remind me of like almost the size pencil cases you'd get when you were in school. And these are about, I wanna say they're about six and a half by about nine and a half. Now don't hold me on exact measurements, um, but that's about what you're gonna be looking at for these. So these are definitely smaller. You're gonna be able to fit more of these in a space. These are gonna be great for if you wanted to, like I said, go crop for the day somewhere or you wanna hold markers. These would be wonderful for holding some markers for a project or or just little bits and bobs that you want to go ahead and put um, together just for a specific project you might be working on. Now I do have all of the products that I was sent already organized in the large sized envelope. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea for how much space you do get with these and I know I could fit a good chunk more in here if I really want to. But let's get into the products that I was sent. So we've got a really nice mix. And of course, like I said, it's a lot of Halloween themed products. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna set the rest off to the side and go through these one at a time. I have the Spooky Pattern Paper Collection. This is A2 size. You get five sheets of each pattern. But what's really nice about this is these are only half of the designs that you're gonna be seeing. There are also other designs in the packet because the, pad, uh, the pages are double-sided. So if you flip through, you've got some really nice eyes and they're skeletons. You've also got some solid paper. So you've got some solid, sort of almost like a honey mustard color with some spiders. There's also an orange and white gingham with these little adorable ghosts. There is some solid orange. It's a little bit of a darker orange. And then you've got some pumpkins as well that work with it. And the pumpkins are like a light pink, a mid-tone pink, a dark orange. And this is gonna see the, uh, be a lot of the colors you're gonna see in this packet that coordinate. We've got a really fun moon and star design on a lighter orange paper, along with all of like the key colors written out in spooky. I think you get a lot of fun use out of this pattern. I also wanted to highlight, let me go like this for a second. There is this one pattern that just says Happy Halloween on it and it's got a little haunted house with a sentiment. You realistically, if you were in a pinch, you could just take this sheet out, put it onto a card base. You can embellish it if you want to. I mean, a couple sequins might be nice, or if you wanted to trim this down and put it on top of some glitter paper, um, but this is gonna make for really, really easy cards to send out. You could also, too, you could just use the sentiment if you wanted, or just the house as like ephemera, um, whatever works for you. And then there's also this really fun pattern of, it says Happy Halloween on banners with little bundles of pumpkins. What else have we got in here? We've got some pink and then this really fun pattern of all of these different Halloween elements, pumpkins, ghosts, bats, skulls, snakes, cauldrons, coffins, bunch of fun little stuff. And these are gonna be really fun for your projects as well, that you'll be able to use these different elements in there. And it this is really a great uh, pattern to show you all of the colors that are included in this pack. And that's gonna be the end of the patterns in the Spooky Pattern Paper Collection. Like I said, this is A2 sized, so it's already cut down to that standard card size for you, so it'll save on some trimming. 
Next, I wanted to show you the spooky stamp set. And this spooky stamp set comes with a really fun decked out house. You can call it a haunted house if you want because it's got a little bit of a ghost, but you also could just use it if you wanted to like craft up a little neighborhood. And this could just be a house that's decorated for Halloween because it's got some banners, um, whichever way you prefer. It's also got the pumpkins that were in one of the patterns from the spooky pattern paper collection. It's got a really fun happy Halloween sentiment, beautiful blessings, which would work really well with this ghost. How are you doing? Trick or treat. Hey, pumpkin and happy spooky season with the big old spooky on there. It's also got some little stars, a little spider, a witch's hat, another witch's hat, but this one can be colored in and it's got polka dots and then a little bow to embellish your hats with. There's also a second stamp set coming out called Trick or Treat that I was sent. And this one's got some really fun, bold sentiments. They say, hi friend, ghostly greetings, boo, but the two O's are ghosts. You're so sweet, happy Halloween, trick or treat in this big, bold font. And then also, hey boo. This also has another style of ghost, a cauldron that's bubbling a little candy that looks like it could be a peppermint, but you could color it up with, with, with some fun Halloween colors, a moon and some stars, a single star, a bat, a pumpkin, and then two different sized candy corn pieces. So this will be really fun to use with that spooky stamp set. You can probably use these really nicely interchangeably. And these are also gonna get you some really nice, bold um, sentiments for your cards. Next, I was sent a shape die collection, and this is called Trick or Treat, and it's a bunch of little elements to help build a little female witch trick or treater, along with the sentiment trick or treat that you can build as well. But what I love about when scrapbook.com sends you um, a die when you purchase one, if you flip it over, it shows you what you can make with a final product from all of the dies. So it's gonna show you how cute that little girl is, and she's just gonna make your, whoever's receiving this Halloween card smile. You can also use just these trick or treat sentiments as well for your project. So a lot of fun ways to do this. And you could also pull in some different pattern paper for her garments and her hat as well to really make them pop and have some flair to them. Next, I was sent a haunted house die set, and I know I'm gonna get some great use out of this this season. There are three large dies that are gonna help you put the haunted house together. This is gonna be like your base. This one is gonna, so you're gonna probably, well, let me backtrack. For the base, you're probably gonna go ahead and use this to be whatever color you want your inside of your windows to be. So a white or um, even like a yellow or maybe even a pink if that's what you're going for. And then this is going to be a darker layer on top. So it's going to just show those little under bits with the windows. And then this is a really nice framing element of the house too. And then it's got some gates, a weather vane, some clouds, and a moon with a little bat. And then a bunch of little ways that you can embellish these windows. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. And you can really get an idea of the sort of haunted house that you can put together and all these little bits and bobs to make really fun projects. Next, I do have the ghost die set, and this is to build like a little ghost trick-or-treater along with the sentiments of boo and happy Halloween. And this is what that final product is going to look like. This adorable little ghost, and you can really change this to make it fun and make him different colors. He doesn't just have to be a white sheet ghost. He could be yellow, he could be purple, whatever color you want, and then have some fun with these sentiments as well. What's also nice with the ghost is there's a bunch of little embellishments that you can put on top of him, like a hat with a star. He could be holding a treat basket. You could have his feet popping out, but you could also just use it as a sheet ghost. You don't actually have to dress him up and you could just use multiple little ghosts on your project and have them kind of floating around. 
Now, if you're a fan of all of the fun seasonal gnome sets that scrapbook.com is coming out with, I wanted to let you know that you're gonna be able to snag coordinating dies for them as well. Uh, scrapbook.com was so kind to send me the coordinating dies for the Christmas gnome set, and I know that there's going to be coordinating dies for the other sets as well. They also have them for the little coordinating detail images and the sentiments as well. So that's gonna be a great addition if you love coordinating dies like I do. If you remember last month, there was a stamp set that I shared called Whale Hello, and this is a whale stencil that I know is gonna work so perfectly with that stamp set, but also with your nautical theme projects as well. This is just a really fun, repetitive pattern stencil of this little whale. You could have some lots of fun with different colors to use it with, so I'm really excited to get to playing with this stencil. Finally, I wanted to share some of the new rub-on transfers that were sent to me from scrapbook.com. The first one that was sent is this winter florals, and it's a lot of muted tones. There's like that poinsettia-y coral color for a lot of the flowers, some gray flowers with some little twigs in there as well, and just some nice like almost saged color leaves. There's also this fun retro garden set, and these have a lot of fall tones on there. It's almost like a fall mod color palette, and they've got some really fun flowers, some butterflies, sending you some sunshine. These are just really fun because it's all ready to go for you. All you gotta do is trim it out and rub them onto your projects. There's a Wild Blooms rub-on transfer as well. This has a lot more pinks in it and a little bit of yellows and oranges. You're gonna find lots of different flowers and little critters like butterflies. There's a little bee right there. There's one, a little, little one down there too. So this is gonna be a lot of fun as well. But this cozy autumn one is definitely going to be my favorite. It has all of those autumn tones together. You can use it for a sweater weather one. You can use it with the wreath, without the wreath, whatever you want. But what's nice is if you're going to use this with the wreath and not just the sweater weather sentiment alone, it's already perfectly centered. So you don't have to worry about laying it out so that like it's gonna be put right in the center. All you gotta do is cut this nice big wreath out and you're gonna be able to put it right on your project. But it's got a lot of fun different sentiments like Hello Pumpkin, Thankful for Everything. And do remember with these, if you flip them over, you actually get two panels of different rub-on transfers. So this one, I went over all of these fun designs, but this is the page behind it. It says like, it's turkey time, fall, harvest wishes, thankful, 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 happy Thanksgiving. So it's just going to really allow you to make some really fun um, projects for any sort of occasion, specifically autumn for this one, but all the other designs that we went through, you're going to have lots of fun crafting with them. So there you have it. Thank you all so much for stopping by today over on my YouTube channel to check out the latest haul of products that was sent to me from scrapbook.com. Now, don't forget, I've got these products linked below that you'll be able to go ahead and shop for them. And then be sure to share and tag me if you make anything with any of these fun finds as well. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future haul videos and more crafty inspiration. And I'll look forward to sharing some projects with you very soon. Thank you all so very much. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.